Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. It's been a while since we've taken a look at my entire Lego collection. So we're going to do it today in this video. We're going to go over every single set that I own, approximately. Ballpark. That's going to include all of the sets in the city, all of the sets on the shelves, and all of the sets that I haven't built. Now the only sets that it's not going to include are the ones that I have put away for the future. So like investment sets, because there's a whole bunch of those that I, why would I log those in my personal collection? Because they're not actually mine, right? So it doesn't really make sense. So how are we going to do that? I'm not going to show you every single Lego set in this room because that will take a long time. However, I do have plans to make a video like that in the near future. However, it's going to go over all of the sets for a certain year, such as 2020 or 2021. We'll go over my collection year by year. But what we're going to do today is actually head on over to my computer and we're going to log on to brickset.com and we're going to have a look at all of the sets in my collection on that website. And we'll also be able to have a look at some of the statistics and analytics of my collection. Now, I said approximately because I don't know if it's 100% up to date. I do my best to try and keep it up to date. But sometimes you just forget to add sets to, uh, to your brick set collection uh, portfolio or profile, I guess. So let's head on over to my computer and take a look at my entire Lego collection on brickset.com. So if you don't know what brickset.com is, it's a fantastic website for you to log your collection on there and also gain information on all of the Lego sets, uh, whether you want nice crisp images of them or you want the description or the amount of pieces, or what they're retailing for, essentially any information you can think of in regards to Lego is on brickset.com. And this is where I personally go to log all of the information or log my collection. So you can browse sets by theme, or you can uh, add sets to your collection, or anything like that. It's, it's fantastic. The amount of things that you can do on here is truly endless. The first thing I want to show you guys is my collection sort of overview you can see this is uh, home your collection so as uh, sets owned keep in mind there might be some missing i don't know it says i have 860 items and 606 different why is it like that because for some reason i've logged my base plates on there which i have a lot of and the number's probably completely skewed so roughly i have about 606 unique sets apparently uh, and you can look at that like an analysis of a table or a graph or whatever you'd like. Uh, so of the uh, 601 sets I own, uh, we have 540,000 pieces approximately. So just over half a million pieces in the sets that I own. Now that doesn't include, for, for my piece event count, that doesn't really include all the pieces I've bought uh, in bulk like local classified uh, buys or from the pad wall or anything like that. So I'm going to say I have probably like a million pieces in this room, which is pretty crazy to think about. Uh, it says the size of your parts collection is 100, uh, 1,053 in the world. So that's not bad. And my sets are 7,187th in the world. That's really not that bad, uh, but that's only based on the people that use this website. Not everybody uses it, and it says whatever from the 561 sets that we have retail prices for, it's worth about uh, $48,000. Wow, that's a big number. Uh, yeah, don't tell my mom that. Um, anyways, uh, so if you uh, want to see all of the sets in my collection, the way we're going to have a look at them right now is I go to um, sets owned. And I've sorted them by year at least. I think that's a cool way to do it. So we're actually going to look at the oldest ones in my collection first. The oldest one is the tipper truck. This is like the Samsonite tipper truck. It's the oldest set in my collection. I've got the original box for it. And it was actually made by Samsonite. And this one here, I don't have assembled right now, but I definitely have that base plate. And I could probably wrangle in all the parts if I went through all my inventory. But this is a really cool one. And this is the one that I remember that I had. Uh, when I was a kid. Then there's lots of classic stuff in here like Majesto's Tower, the GTX bike, uh, some of the older Star Wars stuff like the Snow Speeder or the X-Wing, the Twin Pod Cloud Car. This one I recently built. This is Darth Vader. It's a Technic set, which is pretty neat. I really like that one. Goes together really nicely with all of the characters. 
And right here, you'll see the, the road plates. I've put 20, I've definitely got way more than that. I, I need to do an honest count of how many of these road plates I have, or just remove them from my brick set collection because they actually skew the numbers I find. The Death Star 2, TIE Interceptor, V-Wing. Hey, I recently got this Batmobile from the Brick Bin. Pretty sweet Batmobile. Also, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter Advance. That's a sweet set. Love that one. I like looking at BrickSet.com just because it gives you uh, an idea, or it just presents it in such a neat and tidy way. You don't have to look at it like this in this grid format. You can also put it in like, you know, like a byline format. And the cool thing about BrickSet.com is you can also look at all of these sets. You see how I have them as I want or I own. You can also click I want and, and it'll add a wanted list to you uh, or to your account and allows you to sort of create a list that that goes over all the sets that you're trying to collect. So it's a good way to log your collection and also set some goals on what sets you want to get. Uh, you got Imperial Shuttle, Grand Emporium, and now, like I said, we're looking at the oldest sets and we're working our way to the newest sets. There's other ways that we could do it. We could sort it by piece count, or we could sort it by set number or year release like we have it now. There's so many different ways that you can organize it. And the neat thing about it is you can actually browse the Lego sets on brickset.com uh, in such a way that it organizes them by theme or whatever. You could also uh, limit the sets in your like that you're looking at in your collection by theme so there's lots of different things that you can do here to to browse and catalog your lego collection you can see we're sort of making our way through it here we're on 2012 now we got cool things like the town hall r2d2 the sop with camel and the haunted house there you go it's a good one from 2012 the b-wing starfighter lots of these have actually been recently added to my brickset account uh just because uh yeah, i recently acquired them obviously and i always uh whenever i want to add these to my collection i uh, like update my collection make sure that's my only duplo set i don't know why i'm focusing on that right now but what i do is i usually just scroll through year by year and then i uh add them based on what I have just sort of off the top of my head this one here I have two of and we, we're gonna be remocking this into a large castle mock eventually that's a project that I need to get going here hey here's the original DVC I have this set but I don't have the minifigures and I don't have that jet I just have the building I believe Jabba sail barge there's a good one got some Batman stuff the mixer Santa's workshop the Ecto-1 Ideas Set, the Mountain Hut, the Parisian Restaurant, uh, here's the Bike Shop and Cafe, this is the mini modulars that I actually converted into larger style modulars, this train station is long gone, that's like been parted out centuries ago and converted into different train station mocks and whatnot. It also logs all your minifigures here too, so all the CMFs are here. You can log them as collections that you own, or you can log them as individuals. You can see we've got the Simpsons passing by here, and that's right by the Simpsons house, the droid gunship, the at, -AT. This would be one Star Wars set that I would actually get rid of. It's got a cool minifig, I guess. And the Tumblr, Sandcrawler, so... So the thing too is you can click on these little tags here, Star Wars, that'll bring you to all the Star Wars sets. There's also, once you click on the listing, uh, there'll be other tags within, so it'll be like UCS, or there'll be creator expert vehicles or whatever. So you can sort of limit, uh, not limit, but view these different categories in such a way that it makes it easy for you to look at sets and maybe create a wanted list on this website. I love it. This is honestly my favorite Lego website besides Lego.com, obviously, because uh, Lego.com is where you can actually buy this stuff. We've got the Quickie Mart, the Slave One. Recently added this one to the collection here. Uh, these buildable figures. I don't have a huge amount of these ones, but we've got some of them there. I think I've got uh, those two there, and then Captain Phasma and Kylo Ren, I think. The brick bank, Christmas ornament. I think I might have sold that Christmas ornament. That's why I don't log what I have. Yeah, I sold this here too. That's why I don't log what I have for sale on here because I'm, that's always cycling and changing. So 
Once again, these sets only reflect, oh, I see I sold this one. These sets only reflect uh, what I actually have in my possession right now and plan on keeping in my possession. Uh, there's no sense in, in logging stuff that would potentially be sold in the future. Here we got some more CMFs in Disney and CMF minifig series set 15, I believe that is. And you can see that's page one. We've got four pages to go and we we're in 2016. So we jumped up a few years. There's a big one, Ghostbusters HQ, Krennix, Imperial Shuttle, uh, all sorts of speed champion stuff there, Assembly Square. This little dragon poly bag, I think I sold that one too. See, I might have to go through here and update it. I mean, there's some that are here, there's some that aren't here, there's some that are missing, I sold all these. So I've gotta go through this a little bit more and refine it. We've got some brickheads here, all grouped together in 2017. Wow, 2017 was a good year for brickheads. Batman, Batgirl, Robin the Joker, Captain America, uh, Iron Man, Black Widow, Captain Jack, Salazar, Bell, Beast, are you kidding me? That is all in 2017. That is a crazy year for Brickheads. That's wild. Why can't we get Brickheads like that right now? I mean, we got Minions recently, but we haven't really got any sick pop culture Brickheads in a long time. Snowspeeder was a good UCS set. Uh, yeah, the Jedi Starfighter with Hyperdrive was a good set. Millennium Falcon obviously came out in 2017. Can you believe that thing's been out for four years already as of right now in 2021? That is crazy. This Vest is Wind Turbine. I only have one now. I sold one of those. Uh, this thing's sold, so I gotta update that, get rid of that thing there. This is just a ballpark of the extra poly bags. Oh, I wonder if I have the street lamps in there as the poly bag. I might not have those logged. Oh my gosh, 2018, good year for Brickheads as well. Star, Star Lord, Han Solo, Chewbacca, Thanos, Ray, Mr. Incredible, Darth Vader, Elsa, Stormtrooper, Mickey Mouse, Groot and Rocket. Oh my gosh, so many great ones there. Leia, Boba Fett, Krusty the Cl uh, Clown, pretty incredible. Then we've got some Technic stuff there, like the Bugatti, the, the uh, Whack and Bash. Some minifigures, the hospital, uh, Hogwarts, sorry, Harry Potter minifigures, right by the Hogwarts castle, there's a big set. Yeah, so as you can see, oh, I sold this, I gotta get, gotta get rid of that. <laughs> as you can see, we've done a pretty good job of uh, logging my entire collection here, even in this website, it's different stuff. There's like apparel, there's books, there's minifig stands, there's uh, all sorts of good stuff including promos. Oh, I've sold this, gotta get rid of that. I only recently stopped logging the stuff that that I'm actually planning on getting rid of, so that was, I've just gotta do a bit of updating here, but as you can imagine, it's a timely process. So what I would do if, if you're planning on logging your collection on here, make sure you just, whenever you buy a new set, just up log it that day or like update it that day just so you know exactly what you have and you know that your uh, accounts right up to snuff we're in 2019 now and as you can see we still got a long ways to go there's the 89 batmobile hot shot eight studs the bookshop uh some classic stuff here the international space station the piano uh, pirates of barracuda bay some dots promote promo stuff sith arts uh six of them there yeah <laughs> six sith arts okay uh, some brick sketches, some more uh, brick heads, but you can see these brick heads aren't, uh, or the releases for 2020 were nowhere near the ones prior that we were looking at. Some dot stuff there, Mickey and Minnie. This is a good way to look at it because rather than seeing all the small stuff at the end, you see the small stuff sort of mixed in within the year. And I think this is really working out. We got the new ATAT, -AT, well, relatively new, I guess, 2020. Uh, the A Wing. Uh, Besman Duel, Mandalorian the Child, Razor Crest, Moss Eisley. Lots of good stuff came out in 2020. As you can see, we're still scrolling through it. 2020 was a heavy year, and 2021 is even more heavy, I would say. It's, uh, it's quite the year. Here we are into 2021. Recently picked up that set there, added it to the Brick Set collection, and lots of great stuff here all throughout. Uh, 2020 2021 have been some of the best uh, years of lego i think like they've just done a fantastic job of releasing so many great sets such as like the helmets uh we just breezed by the porsche the probe droid the new uh classic batmobile in which i hope we get a different one or bigger one maybe and lots of stuff coming out in the near future finishing off with the harry potter books here and also the uh, spring lantern festival which is a great set so that is our 
entire collection on brickset.com. And as you can see here, these are all the different categories in which we can sort this by. And let's for fun do it by number of pieces. You can even sort it by number of minifigures there. But let's go number of pieces descending and let's refresh this page here. Go to page one, of course. There you go, you can see the largest sets in the collection. So we got Coliseum, Millennium Falcon, Hogwarts Castle, Ninjago City Gardens, Diagon Alley, Ninjago City, Imperial Star Destroyer, Firehouse, the Hogwarts Crest Art, which is sort of schemish because it's all dots. Uh, we got Big Ben, Roller Coaster, Disney Castle, Assembly Square, Death Star, Lamborghini CN, and so on and so forth. So you can sort them in so many different ways. Just wanted to show you my entire collection on Brickset.com. Thank you so much for coming by today and checking it out. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here on my YouTube channel. Peace out.